All right, welcome everyone. This is going to be the weekly recap for our chat room ending on September 24th, 2021. A couple things let's talk about before we get into looking at uh, the stats for the week. Uh, Once again, we're still running the special, so you can go ahead and get seven days free in the trial chat room. Absolutely no obligation. Go to binaryprostrategies.com, click on the join now. Join us for seven days. If you like it, you can stay. It's only $50 a month. But what you're going to be getting during that seven day free trial, you will be getting the nightly setups. You will be, uh, I will be sharing my charts so you can see the buy and sell setups for one of the patterns that come with core. And uh, you can try it. If you decide you don't want to stay, you can go ahead and cancel and uh, you owe nothing absolutely free so try before you buy now you can now you have that opportunity to do that also we're going to be adding something to the monthly core subscribers now this is the people that have bought the core package that are in the monthly chat room every month um, we're going to be adding what we call disclosure Tuesday it's going to be the first Tuesday of every month and we're going to be disclosing all our latest research okay so what's really cool about once you start looking at the markets like we look at it remember we're talking about a total of five dimensions fifth dimension is is uh, something we reveal with the cb but first four dimensions you're going to learn about the first four dimensions when you uh, buy the the core package but what you're going to start seeing is you're going to start seeing things that you've never seen before you're going to start seeing a lot of new patterns and We've been doing that now for a while with CB and come up with some really just, I mean, incredible stuff. We're going to be doing the same thing in core now because a lot of a lot of the students that have been trading core for a while, now that they're looking at the market in four dimensions, they're starting to see a lot of really cool patterns. And not only that, is several of them are all coming up with the same, same pattern. So um, that just kind of adds to the validity of kind of what we're looking at. But we're going to be sharing that information. So every Tuesday, you're going to have... Uh, the opportunity to join us and get all the latest really cool patterns that we've been looking at. Also, we're going to be talking about not just how to trade five-minute binaries. We're going to be talking about how to trade knockouts, how to trade dailies. We've been doing a lot of work with dailies, a lot of work with knockouts, using the same patterns, some of the new patterns that work better in those markets. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm pretty impressed with what I'm seeing. So, you know, we've talked a lot about how these patterns are universal and uh, you're going to see that when you start looking at hourlies and knockouts. So a lot of opportunities, to, depending on what your flavor is. If you like five minutes, which I do, you can do that. Or if you're a knockout guy or you want to trade hourlies or you want to trade dailies, we put the dailies out every day. But a lot of really cool um, discoveries that are going on. We're all doing a lot of research. We're going to be able to come together on Tuesdays and we're going to be able to share that information. So you're every every month, you're going to be getting some really cool new stuff. So... Uh, it's going to, um, it's only going to not only increase your knowledge, but it's going to give you more opportunities to make some money in these markets. All right. So that being said, let's move over. Let's take a look at our stats for the week and, uh, are also filling in and what I'm looking at for this coming week, what I'm looking to trade. So anyway, let's take a look at those stats. Okay, so here we are. Here are the stats for the week. Once again, this is just going to be for the PAP pattern. It's one of five that we teach you in the core package. Uh, we will be adding more. As I mentioned on first Tuesdays, we're going to be getting into a lot more. So it's going to be something coming out every month. But this is the five main patterns that I trade. And we're looking at just one right now. We're looking at PAP. And uh, I've been uh, providing you with these stats for some time now and the idea is just to show you that even looking at a naked setup and when we say naked that means we're only looking at really just two dimensions you've heard me talk about the four different dimensions we're only looking at two dimensions so we're not looking at some of the other dimensions that filter out some of these trades but just simply looking at even just the two dimensions um, you can see that uh, that we have a very high probability of being profitable when we put on a position. So the idea here is to show you that we can help you get on the right side of the direction. All right, so we're going to put the probabilities in your favor from there. It doesn't guarantee profits, but, but we can certainly help with those probabilities because this game is nothing but probabilities. Trading is 
nothing more than trading probabilities and knowing how to use and take advantage of that advantage okay how to take advantage of those probabilities we put the odds in your favor and uh, how we can go ahead and take advantage of that right and how we can start adding contracts at the right time and so forth but that's all part of the core package I'm just showing you what these negative stats look like once again I continue this week I've been focusing on the euro and the and the US yen all right I'm going to continue to stick with the euro and the US yen. I see no reason to move into looking at the Aussie or the pound. I do a little bit of Aussie. I don't do well. I do very, very little pound when I'm trading core. That's mainly, mainly going to be when I'm trading CB. Obviously, trading CB, we trade all of them, but I do. If I'm doing anything, I'm going to be using CB, trading the pound. I'm not going to be using a lot of core. Now, you can use core uh trading uh, the pound if that's what you like we have some other ways of doing that so but nonetheless it still had a decent week uh overall first trade of the day now this is the very first trade i start my morning every morning at 8 a.m central 9 a.m eastern and uh these are actually i'm now starting to show you what pair came up as the first trade and you can see i was hitting at 80 percent in the morning and 100 percent at night this once again you're going to be able to see that if you join the trial room you're going to be able to see those first trades as well okay so and this is obviously uh in the in the live room in the uh with the core traders they're all looking at it as well and uh some are taking those trades and uh, depending on when they come in some take you know other trades after that but a lot of them are taking advantage of this first trade and doing very very well so um stats awesome very good for the week i'm going to going to continue to do that. I'm going to stay with the US yen. I'm going to trade the euro and I'm going to start looking at a little bit on the Aussie. I'm going to add a little bit more on the Aussie this week as we go in because I think the volatility is continuing to be very good in here. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. CB, not a bad, uh, not a bad week overall for CB. Had some really, really strong days, definitely. The thing is, what, what we're going to teach you is when the markets are hot, when he hit it. But then again, when the markets are not hot, and we're going to show you how to identify that, you want to step aside. And, you know, a big part of trading is knowing when not to trade. So just because you have a hot streak doesn't mean it's going to continue. Usually after a hot streak, it gets cold. And usually after a cold streak, it gets hot. So you have to know and be able to identify that. And when you start seeing those markets heat up, you definitely want to start adding. Uh, we add, we start adding size. And we start getting a little bit more aggressive and then when things cool down then we step aside or we don't trade at all until things pick up again so we'll teach all that in core but nonetheless very good week for my cb trades uh if you have any interest in my uh program once again you can try for free if you like for the first seven days you can go to my website binaryprostrategies.com learn a little bit more about myself and also, you can go to join now if you want to go ahead and take advantage of one of our packages. All right, so that's going to be it for the week. Uh, we will be back next weekend for the next weekly recap. Looking forward, as always, to, I've been telling you that volatility is going to pick up. It has been picking up, and uh, we're seeing that in the numbers. We're seeing, I'm seeing that in my students. Everybody's just, just killing it in here right now, and I think that's going to continue. I don't really expect things to slow down right now. A lot of news in the market right now, and that creates volatility, and we love volatility. So that's it. We'll see you all next week, and I wish everybody have a good trading week. Take care.